this great album closer, the great post-punk gothic guitar band of all time, the great Ian Curtis's Joy Division. That whole experimentation with computers transforms modern music. They created leak cityscapes of the future, and Ian Curtis, the singer and lyricist, he mined these terrible troughs of depression. I never realized the lens I'd have to go. Ian seemed happiest when he was sitting on the floor in this blue room to, to write the lyrics. It's, uh, what, what can you say to someone when they've gone? <laughs> you, know, you can't, you, you can, it's no, you can be, well, I felt very angry, but there's no point, there's nowhere for the anger to go. I remember when Tony phoned me to say Ian had died. Once I'd kind of got over the shock, it came to my mind uh, fairly quickly that I'd put a headstone on the cover. Which is quite eerie. It's unimaginable how far Joy Division could have gone. Absolute disaster, absolute disaster for British rock and roll. Such a short period of creativity. He had the philosophy that anything you want, it wasn't sort of a matter of having the right breaks. All you had to do was to keep trying and keep on and on at what you wanted to do. So I don't know how it would have felt to achieve exactly what you wanted so soon. It's a pity Ian didn't find an, another goal. You know, you have to have a, a quest for something, and I, I think somehow he, he ran out of, of the quest.